that there are many conditions in which this neuronal component here or even arterial component but more commonly neuronal components right they are under compression right for example if scalenae are hypertrophied or scalenae interior or medius or both are spastic spasm or in this area there is cervical rib right so there are many conditions in which compression is produced on the content of interscalene triangle right and because this is outflow of neuro arterial highway from neck moving towards the axilla this neurovascular bundle which is flowing from the deep part of the neck coming from the interscalenous triangle moving yes interscalenous triangle right these components are moving to subclavian triangle then moving to costoclavicular space. Costoclavicular space and eventually going behind pectoralis minor and below the coracoid process of scapula right and eventually components move to arm right actually these come neuronal and vascular component or we can say neurovascular highway has three areas anatomical areas where there is a high chance that they can be compressed and produce neurological dysfunctions neurological symptoms signs and symptoms of dysfunction or arterial insufficiency or venous obstruction right now or this highway from deep part of the neck root of the neck from interscalenous what is this triangle, triangle through the subclavian triangle through the costo clavicular space and through the upper part of axilla while passing behind the what is this pectoralis minor pectoralis minor tendon and below the coracoid now this all highway neurovascular highway this is called yes this is called thoracic, thoracic outlet. outlet right this is just called thoracic outlet it means thoracic outlet is what thoracic outlet is starting from interscalenous space triangle then to subclavian triangle then to the costo clavicular space which is this one right and then to the sub coracoid and retro behind the pectoral minor space right this highway is called thoracic outlet what is this called thoracic outlet right now this thoracic outlet has three points where it can be compressed number 1 enter scalene triangle right this neuronal and sometimes even vascular here because only artery is here so we say arterial component may be compressed then or they may be compressed in when this bundle neurovascular bundle is passing between the clavicle and first rib costo clavicular space or other narrow spaces sub coracoid or just behind the upper part of pectoral spine now if at any of these three places if this neurovascular components any of these components are compressed and produce dysfunction we call it thoracic outlet syndrome right so while we are studying inter 
scalene triangle right actually uppermost area where chances of compression of neurovascular neurovascular highway from neck to the arm right if right if it there is compression here this is called what it is called thoracic outlet syndrome yes where compression is present at inter scalene triangle or these move laterally and then there is first rib neurovascular components are above the first rib but below the clavicle right if even if they are compressed here that is still called thoracic outlet syndrome right and when they move forward right if they are compressed third point most common these are the three points where constriction can occur and so this is subcoracoid space if there is compression here on what is neurovascular bundle or its all component or one component or any combination then it is again called thoracic outlet syndrome listen we will have a full lecture on thoracic outlet syndrome its causes and mechanism